Hey guys, Professor Benson here, just showing you how to do, this is part two of creating this financial complaints dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and put a border around this so that we can see the, let's do a shape outline. Let's just do format. Okay, so I've got a picture border. I'm gonna put this black uh, and I'll probably make it just a hair thicker so that we can see it. All right, what I wanna show, I was debating whether to have these be put in with what's called floating versus tiled. And tiled is going to be a little bit like I've created something here where I've got this title text and a line and then I put these in red, green and blue to kind of see. So these each of these, there, there would be a red container, a green container and a blue one and actually the footer and the, and the title. And the advantage of a tiled is you can easily make things kind of equally spread around and it's a little bit like grouping in, um, in PowerPoint. Right, so if I group these four KPI, or I'll group these ones right here. I've got one, two, three, four. And on a PC, it's Control G to group, or you can just go up here to Format and uh, group these. Right, and now if I were to, oops, if I were to resize these um, or make them wider or bigger, they would, they would. Now I would want to do kind of going out like this way, but I would, I can make sure they move and stay equally apart floating is a little bit more like if i had these where i'm just i can slide and move these anywhere and i think it's a little bit easier to see and do although power you know almost powerpoint's a little bit easier to um line things up and so if we were to do it this way let me just show we're going to end up making ours a thousand pixels wide and 800 pixels high and this point right here is i should put a little let me put a little line to it this little guy right there is our, and I'll go ahead and format that, is our, that's our zero, zero point. So anything zero, zero, and then normally I would think of this as a negative number, but it's a positive one. So this would be 800 down here, and this would be 1,000. And we're going to split it into these four kind of bins, these four floating containers, and then we'll put stuff in them. Okay, and then I already kind of went through to kind of, um, fill these now obviously like this out this blue one up here is going to be a like the blue the red these are all going to be a thousand pixels wide and then each of these we've got five kpis in here and so a thousand divided by five is 200 pixels and so each of those will be 200 pixels and i've put this at about 125 looks about right then obviously if i'm splitting this equally into two left and right these these are going to be 500 points wide 500 pixels wide as i say right here and i think we've made these i made these 350 and then down here if i'm splitting it three ways this is 333 and i made them 270 which is going to be about five points short but that's to include if we end up doing any borders because you got to take the borders into account as well. So um, with that, look, this is called wire marking or wire framing. Um, you'll see this a lot when people want to, they, they call it wire framing up a website and that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and jump to, um, let's go ahead and jump to Tableau. So I've already got mine open and I opened up the, so if, if in Tableau public, actually, let's just go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and close it. Um, I'd been working on it, and so this one is called um, uh, Interim. In fact, let, let me show you what this one, because I was just working on this to put this dashboard in. It's not fully finished, right? But I've, I started to put the colors here. So I've got the three down and these two, and then these five, and then up here. And I'm just debating whether it's going to be easier for us to say, or whether I just let people do floating, and then we just kind of stick them. So this one right here is going to be... So it's 331 wide, so a little bit less than 333. And I've got it at 241 tall, but that probably includes this padding, right? And so, or is there a gap between this one and that one? There may be a gap there too. So, um, so we may end up having to make it about 250. And then these two, what are these ones? Height 339. Oh, well, actually, let's go out to this outer. So I renamed these. So that one is 351. And then this horizontal bottom is 245. Okay. And then this one right here, if you double click on this, that opens up this, its parent container. Okay. And that one is 125. Okay. And then up here, this horizontal one 
is 75. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do this one. Um, I think it'll be a little bit faster with containers. And so we'll just go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and file close this because I had already been working on this. So we're gonna open up, this is, I called it interim is what I called the one. And so we've got all of our sheets. So I'm gonna go over here and there's one that says new dashboard. Okay, and so the first thing that we need to do here in our new dashboard is create the, or, or change the size. So we're gonna make it, I'm gonna go ahead and instead of doing a range, I'm gonna do fixed size. Okay, and then instead of custom, I'm gonna go down this desktop browser that's 1000 by 800. So it's 1000 pixels wide and 800 high. That's kind of what we said. Okay, and then, okay, so here's all our sheets. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a vertical container because I think of these as vertical. So we're gonna have one that goes all the way outside everything. So if, let me just go ahead and stick one here and I'll make this, I don't know, we'll make it gray, but it'll essentially look like this on the outside. And then if I go ahead and format this, I'm gonna send this all the way to the back. So everything's on top of it. And so this, this dark blue one is essentially this first one that we're gonna create. And then everything is gonna sit on top of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this vertical one. I'm gonna drag it, uh, oh, so I'm gonna make this floating. So make sure you do that. I'm gonna drag it here, right? And floating means it's just gonna sit. And then I'm gonna go out to my layout and I'm gonna put this at zero, zero which is that top left corner. And then I'm gonna make this just fit our canvas. So it's a thousand wide and 800 tall. And I am gonna give it a border. Um, I think later on, what, what color border did I make this one? I'll just give this one a black border. And um, sorry, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a black border. And what color did I pick for it? Um, I'll do that for this thin line. Okay, and then I'm gonna give it like a light, this third one down, just kind of a gray. I think it'll make things a little bit easier to see what we're doing. Uh, and if we need to change that, I had made it a darker gray, then we can do that. So I've got this blank one, okay? And so now what we're gonna do is, let's go back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these, these four, one, two, three, four. Um, these are gonna be floating containers. We're gonna do these particular, um, dimensions, so they're all gonna be a thousand points or a thousand pixels wide. And then what we'll do is, um, then we'll start sticking stuff inside of them. And I'll show you what that means. So it'll be a little bit tricky here at first. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. So I'm gonna put this first one in that's gonna be like a, um, a text file. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a, sorry, this one is gonna be horizontal. In fact, all of these are gonna be horizontal. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one up here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up at zero, zero. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this a thousand wide, so it's gonna fit everything, thousand, and then I'm gonna make this one, I think I said 75 points high. Okay, and so it says hold down shift to drop floating objects into this, um, and we'll end up doing that with these later ones. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, um, blue border around this one, I think. So we'll just go ahead and do blue. And I'm gonna make that one, let me go back to it. And I'm gonna make it a white background, which takes away the text that says I can shift drop into it. But this is gonna be our header for our text. Okay, then I'm gonna go, let's add the um, our second level. So we're gonna go ahead and add this red one that's gonna be our KPIs and I'll start renaming these, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put a horizontal one right here, and I want it to be right up against it. And so if this one is 75, I'm, I'm probably gonna put this here, I'm gonna put this at zero or one, and I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna say 76, that'll move it up. And then again, this will be a thousand. And I think we made this one, um, what did we make this one, 125 high. Okay, and I can stick, this one's gonna end up being, I'm gonna leave this this blank color. And then what we'll end up doing is, so we can see hold down shift, we're gonna come back to that. And then I'm gonna add two more beneath this. One that's gonna be our, so we've got horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Okay, so I'm gonna hit enter. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and 
add in a horizontal one right beneath it. Oh, see, I didn't put a, and what color did I make this one? This one I made yellow. So we're gonna take, we're gonna get rid of those. It's just easier to see, oh, this is a red, ye uh, uh, a yellow layer. So again, I'm gonna put this at zero. This is gonna be, so that's 200, 201 is fine. I'm gonna make this a thousand. We might make them 999 so we can see the borders. And then I think we made this one 350. And I'm gonna go ahead and put um, yellow border around it. So I don't know, is that yellow? Okay, I'll make that a little bit thicker. And then to make this maybe a little bit more distinguishable, what color should we put this one as? Pick it darker. Um, I don't like that. I'm just going to go back. We'll go back to white. Okay, so I've got a white one. And then down here at the bottom, we'll make this one green. And so this one, each uh, it'll, the whole thing will be a thousand within them. We don't, we won't need to do three. And, and I think we had it at 250 rather than 270. So 250 plus 350 is going to be 600, right? 500 and a hundred. So I've got another 200. So 125. Okay. So yes, yeah, so if we make that 250, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. We're going to make this bottom one 250. So let's go ahead and, um, Go, go back and then I'm going to go ahead and put this dashboard down here at the bottom. So we're going to call this a horizontal one. I'm going to put it right here. Again, layout's going to go to zero. This one is going to be, what is it going to be? I can just kind of toggle that up to five, five. Okay. And this one's going to be 250. I think that in fact, we might have to be just a hair underneath that so we can see the borders. So I've made it 246 and then this will be a thousand. Okay. And I'm going to put a green border on this one. It's kind of an ugly green, but we're going to stick with it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to rename these so that we can start putting some things in this one. So this one, um, hold on. So this one is, I'm going to stick that up top and then I'm going to stick the vertical up top. Oh, this is the layers. So this is how it's seeing it. Okay. So let's see this one right here. I'm going to rename as, um, header. So I'm going to rename this as H for horizontal or horas, and I'm going to call this the header. Okay. This next one. Okay. So this is down here. I'm going to move this down. Okay. So that one I'm going to rename as or is, and I'm going to just call it bottom. So the next one will be, I want the middle, which is this one. So I'm going to drag that down. Okay. So I'm going to rename this one as Horas, and I'm going to just call it the middle. I could have also called it like the one with the map because we're going to put the map there. And then this one up top, I'm going to call Horas and, or H, and I'm going to call this KPIs because that's where we're going to put the KPIs. Okay, so we're going to drag the KPIs and stick them in here. And um, it says it on this one, but it, it actually means it on all of them. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go back. So I've got these five KPIs. And so I'm just going to drag it here. Let's see. I, I have to shift drag to do it. So I'm going to hit escape. We'll just head on back. So we may end up. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go shift. KPI total and stick it here and it's going to stick it here all the way to the left. I'm going to now go shift and I want it kind of to the right of it. And then I can either put it here all the way to the right, but I'm just going to stick it. You can probably see there's a horizontal, a, a gray line. You might not be able to see it, but it's right here. Okay. And then disputed and then KPI relief. Okay. So I've got my five and if I go over here to my layout, right? You can see that they are all kind of within, in this hierarchy, they're all within this horizontal KPIs. Okay. So now I, if to, to get to the container, if I double click on any of these, it goes to its parents container, which is this horizontal one. And I'm going to now do this drop down and say, distribute contents evenly. So it's going to make these, these will all be about 200 pixels wide. I'm assuming. So if I click on that one, 200, 200, 200, 200, right? The only thing that's moving is how far out. Like, so this one goes from zero to 200. This one goes from 400 or uh, 200 to 400 pixels. This one starts at 400 and goes another 200 to 600 and so on. 
So then what we need to do is go to each of them and say fit entire view. Now, what I wish is that in, in PowerPoint, I could actually click on each of these and then do them all at once. Okay, so it looks like we need to now, we're gonna need to make these all about the same, the same font so they're the same size. And then we need to go to each of these and center them and make them the same font. So I can either go one of two ways. I can click on this button that goes to the sheet and go text and, um, okay, we need to center here and then center in the middle. Okay, and then hit okay. So that's called middle center, okay. I think I could do it if I were to right click and edit the, uh, or format this, I could do it as well if I double clicked here. Um, but let's go ahead. We're also going to want to make this a little bit bigger. So if I go format, so I can either do it right here. I think I want, I tend to do it here in the big one. So let's go ahead and, oh, and then we're going to want to do the same thing here with total complaints. So if I go ahead and form, format the title, Actually, I prefer editing the title. So if I go here, so I've got this as Tableau regular 12. That actually looks okay to me. So I'm gonna do that for each of these. I'm gonna put and just right click and say, I'm gonna come back to this one in a second. So this is 12. Okay, edit title. So that one has, I need Tableau regular 12, center. Okay, Tableau regular 12. Okay, so these are all, so then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna edit this one and I thought about, but I don't think I can get this one to, um, I thought about moving that percentage down at the bottom. Okay, so, uh, but, but then I have to make all these, like I wanted these lines to line up. So let's go ahead and, um, so I've got these right now. And so then what I need to do is we wanna make this, bigger and bolder so that it kind of fits up right so let's go ahead and i think what we did i think what i did was if i go ahead and format can i format it from here so let's see this is the worksheet or the paint this is probably the pain um but if i go ahead and did nope all right so let's just go out here to, i'm going to go out here to the field Okay, so I've got this as Tableau regular 16. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna make this, um, I'm gonna make this Tableau bold 20, I think. Let's try that and see if that works. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go back to each of these sheets. Okay, Tableau regular, or uh, Tableau bold 20. Okay, and this needs to be center, center. Okay, that one, what did we end up doing with this one? So let's do center, center. Okay, and then I'm gonna do Tableau bold. This might be a little too big. Let's try 26 on that one. Okay, and what was this one again? Okay, so this this orange one is 22, the others are going to be 20. So we'll just go ahead and do that for the rest of these. So this will be, um, let's just go ahead and do that. This will be Tableau Bold. Let me do the whole thing. We'll do Tableau Bold 20. And in fact, let's just go ahead and I'll do it here. Tableau Bold and 20. So let's just make sure that looks good. Okay, these are all centered. Oh, and I didn't end up. Um, middle, middle. So then it says middle center. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. This one I'm gonna do middle, middle. Okay, so now we should have this, okay. So in our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to go, I'm going to go back here to the dashboard. We're going to drag over, um, we're going to drag over the map right here. 
in the issues. And then down here, we're going to drag in the pie, the pie chart and um, product and media down at the bottom. Okay, that'll be our next step. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and drag the map over here. So I'm going to drag states over here. And then I'm going to drag so that'll fit that one. And then we're going to go ahead and drag issue. Um, and I'm going to let's just make sure that that is uh, not floating, but I'm sitting here on tiled and I'm going to go drag issue. Yeah, right to the left of it. And now then I can go over as long as I select the container. So I'm going to double click this to select this outer container. And then we're going to go to um, distribute contents evenly. So that gives us our nice 50 50 um, match. And then let's do the three down here at the bottom. And then what we'll do is um, um, then we'll do some formatting to kind of fix these up. So I'm going to go ahead and put, so the pie chart goes over here to the, well, I can put media and then, so that's media. Now I'm going to go put product to the right of it. Okay. And then I'm going to get, put the pie chart to the right of it. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and um, double click on this and then we'll go ahead and distribute contents evenly. So now I've got all three of these. And so then what we need to end up doing is um, probably centering some of this. I mean, there's, so there's just a little bit of formatting to get everything to kind of fit nicely. So let's go ahead. I'm going to hide this issue header right here. So I'm going to right click and um, hide the field labels for rows. Okay. And we'll go ahead and hide this, uh, that header. And then I'm going to go ahead and make this entire view. Okay, and then let's go ahead and edit this title or format the title and let's do the, um, let's just go ahead and edit the title. Okay, so all we need to do is now center this. Okay, we've got the complaints by issue. And then down here, we're going to need to center each of these and do sort of the same thing. So I'm going to right click on this and um, hide the field labels, hide the field labels. Um, I can delete, I can hide this um, number down at the bottom um, because I've got the, I've got the number shown here. I might make that a little bit darker and left formatted. Same thing here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the header and then we'll go ahead and fit entire view. Okay. And then this one, but we, we might end up making the circle or the pie chart a little bit smaller. So then let's go ahead and we'll center these. And then what we need to see is, do I want, um, I think I'm going to make them white um, and then put what's called padding. So when I click here, I can put padding. If I leave a border on it, I can kind of put some padding um, around the outside and that'll give us, that'll give us some, some of this gray space or like kind of like this where there's a little bit of space between them. So it looks like it's demarcated. So I'm going to go ahead and right click here and say edit title. So we're going to go ahead and center apply. Okay, we'll center and apply. All right, center and apply. Okay, so I've got my percent complaints. Um, I'm gonna go to the chart here so that I can make this, um, the pie chart just a hair smaller. I might make these numbers a hair smaller too. Let's go ahead and go out here. So I'm gonna click on size and make that a little bit smaller. Let's see if that did it. Okay, and then if I format these numbers, okay, so that's just highlighting that. Let's go ahead and go to the worksheet. So I'm gonna go here to this label. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the number. So this is a 16 and down here is a nine. So if I make that a 14, will that work? Let's just go ahead and see. That doesn't actually look any smaller to me. Maybe a little bit. Okay. So we've got, I just want to make sure. Um, and then we'll get rid of like right now we've got that yellow border. Like we've got these colored borders still. Oh, and then we're going to need to put up what we'll do is up at the top, put some, um, we need to fix this header and put whatever we're going to end up doing as far as the filters. Okay. So as I'm looking at this, I'm going to, let me bring over our little handy dandy thing here. As I'm looking at what is done, what we need to do is fix our header up here. And then instead of having this slider or just this information that says the data here go from uh, December, 2011 to 2020, I think what we'll do is put some filters up there. So I'm thinking a filter by state and a filter by year. 
um, would fit. We could do a, a drop down. I don't know if we end up wanting to do something by product um, as well. And then it looks like we also need to, um, I would like to left align these guys right here and make them a little bit darker so that they stand out. They're a little bit easier to read. And then we need to make the state over here filter by um, work as a filter by state. So we say click on any state to filter to the dashboard. And so we need to actually go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and we want to make this a filter or we say uh, click any state to filter by the dashboard. If I click on that state, none of these numbers change. So we know that hasn't. If I hit escape, that'll reset. So the way we do that is I'm going to go over here to this funnel sign and say use this filter and we'll click it. And that'll mean down here, this is gets checked. And so then what we can do is now if I click on this state, all these numbers update. Okay, and it should be also the case that if I double click, like if I click and then click back, that this should reset. Okay, so that does. So that's number one. Then what I want to do is for each of these three is line these up on the left and make their um, headers a little bit darker. So what I'm going to end up doing is let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and right click this and format it. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and make that make this um, Let's see if to see if this works. If we align this left, okay, and then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna make this darker. I'm gonna make it black and let's just see if I make it bold. Okay, so I've got Tableau book nine point bold. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and format, align left, Tableau bold, and we'll make that that full black. And then I'll hit escape so that comes out. Right click format. Align left, bold, okay. All right, so these are all now visible. Um, I think I'm, we're gonna make these numbers a little bit bigger. I think he makes them, I think we made these, we'll go ahead and, so these are 20. So if I make these 28, does that work? So we'll just go to each of those and make them 28. Okay, dashboard. Um, okay. And final one. So honestly, there ought to be a way to change all those at once. But here we are. Okay, so now we've got this, we've got, I can filter by the state, and then let's go ahead, what we'll do to get some filters up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and X out of this. Oh, do we still not, do we not have our container up there then anymore? So let's just go ahead and look at our layout. So this is our horizontal header. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a text box up here so that it can say financial complaints overview. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go back here to the dashboard. We're going to drag in a text and we're going to say, I'm going to put this in all caps, financial complaints. Okay. That vertical, this vertical line is above the backslash. So on my keyboard, it goes left bracket, right bracket, and then backslash. And so I'm going to hold the shift. I'm going to put two kind of spaces there and then we'll go ahead and call this overview. Oops. I, I still had that as all caps overview. And is this capitalized? It is. Okay. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do overview. Okay. And let's go ahead and everything slash to the left. We'll go ahead and make Tableau bold and I don't know, let's type 28 and then overview we'll make, um, Tableau bold, but we'll make it I don't know, 16, 18. Okay. Oh, and let's make that darker. All right. So we're going to make this a little bit narrower. Uh, we'll make it darker, but narrower so we can get two, so that we can get two of our um, filters over here on the right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. So let's just make this whole thing right now. 20 point font, see what happens. And then we'll go ahead and make overview we'll make it dark and bold and then we'll make overview smaller so let's just go ahead and i'm going to double click this whole thing and make it instead of this gray we'll make it black 
And then let's go ahead and um, let's make overview like a 16. Okay, good. So then what we can do is um, let's stick to the right of it. Let's, what we'll do is in order to add a dashboard or in order to add a filter, I need to add it to one of our dashboards. So I'm gonna do it by this complaint by issue. So I'm just gonna to go to it and let's go ahead and we'll add a filter here for state and a filter for um, year. So state, I'm just gonna drag up to filter and just say all and hit apply and okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show the filter over here on the right. And then typically what I kind of like to do is do a single value drop down. So I can either do all or I can pick any one of these states. Okay, and then to do year, we're gonna use the um, date received or the date submitted. We'll go by when it's submitted. And so I'm gonna drag that up to filter and it should ask me, and we're gonna say years and I'm gonna say all. Okay, and then over here again, I'm gonna say show filter. So this is a weakness of Tableau. They don't, I would like it to default to show the filter over here, but you have to actually specify it. And the reason they do that is you might wanna give this report to somebody and you don't want them, like it's already pre-filtered to only show them their region or their state or their product. But we're gonna put it over here. And then again, as a, drop, as a default, I always prefer this single value drop down, and then I can do all. So now I've got all, I've got all um, years and all states, okay? And so then what we can do is, let's go back here to the dashboard, okay? And so then I'm just gonna go ahead and add this as a filter. So we'll just go ahead and say state, and it'll drop up, and then we'll add up um, filter and add year. Okay, so then I can get rid of this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and when I click on it, now I can say, look, let's just do a single value drop down. And then up here, I can do the same thing. Let's do a single value drop down. And then this should apply to all of them. So let's see, let me go ahead and make sure to say apply to worksheets and let's say all using this data source. Same thing, all using this data source. So let's go ahead and apply to worksheets all using this data source. And that way, otherwise it would have just affected this complaints by issue, but we want it to affect everything, everything here on the dashboard. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put a, um, I'll probably put a border around this whole thing. And then I haven't decided yet if I wanna put a border here around these two um, filters. And then we'll, we'll get rid of the borders around like the yellow, the green, and the, the ones that we were using as placeholders. Okay, so we'll go ahead and remove those, those borders so that we've got kind of what we want. And then we should be done. Okay, so to change this, instead of saying year of date submitted, this is actually a title here. So I'm just gonna double click on it and it says year of data date submitted and I'm just gonna call it year, hit okay. So now I've got year and state, okay? And so then let's go ahead and let's get rid of all the borders and then we can see if we wanna add any back. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to layout and click on like this horizontal header and just set the border to be none. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down to this horizontal KPI, set the border to be none. And then we'll go down to this horizontal, the middle one and set to none. And then horizontal bottom and set this to be none. And then the vertical one is remember this one that kind of sits all the way around the outside and we'll set this to none. And let's just go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so I've got, all right, so this is now starting to look okay. So I've got, looks like some padding. 